so I've just been in Apita and they, I saw these pies the other week, they seem a bit expensive and they've got these uh, these pies for, or meals, beef stew and they look great and they three for 1,000 yen, normal price is 430 yen Well, maybe I'm into my saving, but I went to I went to buy them. And the bloody the queues for the uh, the queues for the tills are unbelievable. Even for the the six self service till registers, and the line for that was about eight people, ten people. <sighs> They should definitely have, like they do. I don't know if it, I know they have it in America. I don't know if they have it in uh, in Britain. Do they have like a five or less line in Britain? Glass of wine. It should be. It should be about there. I come close again. I had, I think one or two winning lines. I I started using all birthdays. My brother's family, the cunts, and my family. And I got like four numbers. I think these numbers are coming up, 15, 16, 30, 31, they're coming up quite often. And there's still another 10 million left, quite a few weeks at 10 million. First, <laughs> first thing I do straight into a hotel. Then next day, next day, either look for a, a place to buy or or somewhere to rent. Yeah, I was talking to the doctor yesterday. Same in Japan. He said all the all the people that are dying are like obese, or they had kidney problems or other pro problems. I said, do you think I'm all right? He says, he says, be careful. No, but I haven't done it for a long time. Thank you. And uh, but I used to be able to swim like a length, a length underwater. Are you any closer to the jab, Robin? In Japan, all the medical staff are getting it first. Hello, white one. Yeah, it's getting better. Go on. Apart from... I had a decent day yesterday and today.
Goodbye. Steel is going back up again. 35 yen. So happy about that. Petrol's rising as well. Have you ever been on a cruise, Robin? Yeah. Of course, because it was no, the biggest market is China. And they, uh, they put a block on all imports. But now they lifted those. And it took off. So it went to 37. They went up slowly, or quickly actually. No, not, not yet. Maybe next month for the medical stuff. Then others from April. I wonder if they're going to be as efficient as the English. Oh, really? I have to start asking people. Oh, there was a Jane, Jane Irvin from Sheffield. And she used to work for one at radio shows. Well, I was watching some mind boggling videos on how much food. And then that's when, when I start looking at all this food, I thought, I want to go on these cruises. A lot of chips here. I think someone did a uh, comparison and uh, they said that it's a lot more scarier to get COVID. Yeah, I didn't bring it with me. Uh, I've been working. I, actually, I had no plans to have chips, but I did see the they had the vinegar there, so. I think the, uh, I had too much sake last night. I slept well off past 10. All you had to do was, There was an old guy at the uh, at the centre, and the uh, they had to call an ambulance.
I'd like to say he fainted when he saw the size of my enormous coat, but that's not true. I hit him on the back of the head with it. Yeah, there's gorgeous girl works there. What's that? Uh, what, I don't, I'm not sure what you mean, Jordan. Oh, you mean in the centre? Yeah, it is one of the, one of the bastards. I hope the fucker didn't have COVID. <laughs> yeah, there's one in the centre of town. And it's really, really fucking hot. Even the Japanese struggle to go in it. I don't know if it's going to rain tonight. So what was that big European jackpot? What did it end up at to Robin? Oh really, 45 degrees. Well, I think I, when I was in doing judo, I think we, we, we did it at 42 degrees, and it took me quite a while to get to 42 degrees. I couldn't go in it at first. But that woman in town, she said it wasn't... The, the, she said it was something like that, 40 or 42, but it was fucking hotter than that. I'm sure the, the thermometer she was using wasn't, wasn't working properly. Is that the biggest one in Europe, yeah? Fuck. <laughs> 180 million. Wow. For that kind of money, I would get an excavator and knock down my brother's houses. For, a few, for, for changing your life completely. But the worst thing you can do is like, let, every, let everyone know that you've won it. They increased the price and made it harder to win. I think they've done the same in, like I said before, if you got five, a lot or seven, if you got five numbers, you fucking, you get about 10,000 yen, that's ridiculous. They're just taking the piss, aren't they? All right, Taha. All right, Paul. How are you?
No, is it now, Dean? I think a lot of sevens got 37 numbers, but it's still fucking, for whatever fucking reason, still difficult to win. Well, I came closer with that video I made, where I had, that's a lot of, <laughs> and you not got fed up with me yet, Robin. That's a raffle maker. Uh, one of uh, one of my videos. Uh, d did you see what I did with that sushi board when it? Yeah, in Japan the Lotto Seven is three hundred yen, and the other the other games are two hundred yen. But sometimes the Lotto Six, which is two hundred yen, you can win up to six hundred million on that, and on the Lotto Seven, up to uh, seven hundred million. No, what? Ten hundred million, or Juoku. Set for life game. Yeah, well, someone's going to win it. You just have like a, buy a couple of those a week and <laughs> pray like crazy. What, so they pay you ten thousand pounds a month. I don't know what I, I don't know if I did some more thing, live streaming when I got home, but I, for some reason someone was on called White Swan, and then I was looking up. I was looking up a uh, Red Swan, and that turned and turned out to be a song by a group connected to anime. So. Black swans are beautiful, aren't they? Mm. It's the... Uh, yeah.
Yeah, there was a nice story. Uh, I think it was an Irish woman and her husband. They'd been playing, playing the same numbers for 17 years and they finally came up. And then they just went around the family saying, here, we're going to give you some money. But I said before, that big fat pig that won 138 million with his wife, uh, it, like he fucking sold his shop. He's just won 138 million and he sold his shop because people were coming in saying, buy me a beer, you bastard. <laughs> Well, I'll have to give you those numbers, Robin. Like, like last week, my brother's, his wife and his kids, but all that they all came up. Hey, up, Ed. Yeah, the idea that I had, I'd buy a place and then I'd, you, there's, you can swap them out. So if you're in Japan, I suppose Tokyo is the best place, you buy an apartment in Tokyo and uh, then you, you can rent it, swap it for an apartment in Paris, for example, or an apartment in New York. So when you go and travel, you live in a really nice place. Maybe I should be having that wine. My body had too much last night. No, it's not for timeshare. They're like private, privately owned. I, you know, I worked in timeshare, and when they say you can live. You know, you can go to these holiday places. Maybe if, maybe there's a different scale for really rich people. You know, like the, where it's worth something. But otherwise, when you, they, they show you all these, I think it's called TI or something. They show you all these, uh, all these holiday resorts around the world. But anytime you want to try and fucking swap your week in fucking, Swap your week in Tenerife <laughs> for somewhere a really exotic place. It, it doesn't happen. All you get back is a letter saying not available, not available. A two day birthday been well. Well, when I, I used to drink, I was off work for about five months and I used to drink a lot most dinner time and night. And when I, when it, when it came to Sunday night, my, my hand was shaking. My body was telling no more drink. Over a four day weekend, we drank 70 pints. Which is quite a lot, isn't it? Because we'll be doing dinner time and night. So that's eight sessions. Well, it can't be. No, that can't be true. Because if you have eight sessions, 70 pints, that's like nine pints a session. No, that's not true, that's bollocks, isn't it? No, I scrubbed that story.
I don't know why I fucking believed it. Or maybe it was between two of us. What did Ed say that was funny? Oh, really? I wonder I, but what's causing it. More and more people are buying food or what? Yeah, it never used to uh, be like that. But they just, they changed the shop in, they changed it here in, uh, maybe they made the shop bigger. But because they, they, they opened the le opening hours from uh, nine o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. So. Yeah, they're all in the lines. They had, and they had quite a few tills open as well. And a lot of them were, well, it could be, oh, it might be a 5% off day. They knock off 5% off your bill on the credit card. So uh, on those days, it gets busy. What do you mean? So if you just re if you just refresh your page, it'll okay. I'll say that. Are people complaining, Ed? Hey, she's here. Good morning, love. Kinkier than the other day, yeah. So I could earn some money yesterday and today, so that was good. But once again, try and put, try and do the fucking uh, the test again tomorrow. the thing so I've got to get some I've got to get some seal and, and stick it together <laughs> birthday captain Morgan <laughs> Right, Ken. Yeah, I don't think I'll be drinking any more wine after this one. So if it cuts out, if it cuts out, refresh your page. But what if you're watching on the phone? I was, but people say keep uh, drinking beer, keep on drinking beer at 100 yen a, a glass of beer, I can't, <laughs> they're out to get me. Right, full on tomorrow, I've got like three months of, per like Ed says, lose some weight.
But at least I did start exercising this week, so that was good. Doing some walking, a little bit of not done it too much, but a few footsteps of running. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just sated with food and with drink. Yeah, like I said, like I said, a lot to drink last night, and uh, it has tired me out. Been tired all day. Yeah, well, I've got, <laughs> I've got to keep myself working. Those gentlemen's houses in Japan might be good. What you? I don't know. What are you trying to say? What did I have to eat today? Well, this morning, what I decided to do, rather than go for a breakfast, I went for a, uh, a breakfast at a uh, computer shop where you can get all kinds of food. Well, you get salads, karage, rice, eggs, toast. So I just had a big breakfast. Brothels, I think I can just about afford one. But I think I, you know, I can't get a good boner yet. I'm waiting till I can get a really good boner and then go. You know what a boner is, son? <laughs> Mom, what's a boner? Fucking about with things. <laughs> Magic blue pearls, I don't think I want to take one of those. Especially if you've got like a blood pressure problem, I don't think that's a good idea. For those people with ped work with pedicures, I'm, I don't know. what's he on about now? Oh, it's Mew Mew said that. What do you mean? Because they'd have to deal with dirty feet or something. Yeah, they, they had that here for a while where the, uh, they had those fish that bite all the dead skin off your feet. Oh. <laughs> I just wonder if you could put your, put your dick in there. <laughs> I think it started in Hungary maybe and the... They have these little fish in and they bite all the dead skin off. Centimetre thick toenails, oh my god. You take the head to... Yeah, there's that... Have you seen that? The... The spot doctor. 
Well, it's when they don't look after they don't look after their skin or they haven't got any with them. And there was one guy got like his ears all full with crap, and then neck like full of blackheads. And uh, like she does all these pimples, the pimple popper. That's it, yeah. No, no. Sometimes I watch that and I'm just oh. Yes, I think she probably, it seems that everybody knows the pimple popper. I think she's Asian American. But she does, a, you know, she does a very important job, doesn't she? There are some people that have got serious problems. Oh yeah, some of the, when they clear the ears out, oh my God. Yeah. I wonder, because I've got like a little bit of that in my ear and it reminded me of the pimple popper. And, uh, because usually I'm always cleaning me, my ears out. I, yeah, someone always was saying yesterday they've been, the Google's been deleting comments. Usually on my TikToks, I get about 100, maybe sometimes up to 200 views. And uh, and this one yesterday got like, it got over 1,700 views. I'm going to give this a try because the last stage of grief is acceptance. Oh, it's go. Two two thousand two hundred views now. Is that not a brilliant idea? 26 likes and only three comments. Two thousand two hundred. It might go viral. Yeah. There was a young girl on the on <laughs> on TikTok, and she got like all these fucking millions of views and blah blah blah, and then she was saying. And this is how much money I've earned. It's fucking shat. That's why I get the ceiling shots, yeah. Make you a mod, I don't like... Uh... Oh dear. I, 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 to tell you the truth... I, oh, I've, I've done it, okay, you're the moderator. What happened was I was t <laughs> I was messing about with the phone, and uh, I and I made uh, Ed and Geek and moderators by mistake. But once I'd done it, I just left it on there. So you better watch what you're saying now, everybody. Double M's got a uh, she's got the power of the moderator. Yeah, like he was. Mod. No, that was well, well before my time. No, I wasn't either. But I would have probably been closer to being a 
a mod than a, a rock a rock and roller. No, rock and roll is got a really bad image, haven't they? Dirty people, so with the teddy boy haircuts. Pinky promise. Oh, it's a moderator on the moderator on the channel. So. But so, now and again, someone someone's irritating me. I just I just ban them. Or I just block them. Six just came in, that's a big family for Japan. Well, the kids are putting the uh, the kids are putting the uh, the alcohol on. <laughs> oh, the film that you want to watch, which explains it, is Quadrophenia. Stings in it. girl today uh, the, oh, maybe next in the shopping center and she had on a uh, what's that film with the ice maiden excuse me a minute Change the temperature on the water. I think the manager is trying to save money. That's, That's a lot better. No, I got fired from him. So I don't see the last three times I lost my license was on the bike. So yeah, there you go.
Yes, yeah, so I think the plan today was just to have a big breakfast and then not have any more food. <laughs> and, I, and I wasn't hungry. I wasn't hungry. It's just that I'm, I'm a weak person. Oh yeah, they can do that, yeah. It depends on the points. It's a point system. So if you get if you get up to like uh, over 30 points, 40 points, which, which would have to be a fucking serious fucking offense. And then you'd lose it for several years. My friend lost his license for several years. No, no. When you when you lose it, even when for drink driving, it's three months, and then you get a point system. And for example, if you're down to two points, it's very easy to lose your license. You know, you just need to be stopped once, and that's it. You're fucking back to you're back to zero, or you're not back to you. You've got your points. And uh, you lose your license, and it could be like you ain't good. You have to do a course, and then you're suspended from anywhere from like one month to like longest I've been suspended was three months. Yes, he did. Yep. Oh, getting busy. Big family again? No. Or maybe it's two families, I don't know. The staff would actually uh, take your temperature and give you the spray. And maybe that's, that is still, uh, in some cases, that might still happen where the staff... But at the hospital, there's a big screen where you stand in front of the screen and that takes your temperature. But it's like I said, I don't, I take my temperature, but I don't usually put the uh, spray on. I'll just show you. I think that's the ice that I've but maybe I've warmed up now. But usually it's somewhere between 34.5 and 36. So the doctor said he wanted to give me a blood test. Mm -hmm. No, it's not really. It's not. 34.5, well, I'm a cool guy, that's why. Yeah, yeah. And the other one is, at the hospital you stand, there's one at the scrapyard as well. And the one at the scrapyard, tells you to put your mask on so I did this well I'm not going to shove that machine up my arse uh, Jordan But I wonder how accurate they are, though. Really? 
know, that's it. Because you're the moderator, you've got powers. Quicksilver up the bum. Yeah, I don't think you. Yeah. I would have to have had a really nasty fucking accident for me to take my temperature up my bum. Well, some people have been, some people have been saying that they've they've seen their comments uh, deleted. Maybe they do it on uh, how often you do it. And if you're always saying bad things or words, maybe. Yeah, but you know, if, you feel, if you're feeling okay, This said it's 36 degrees. I got time now there. No, it was the uh, I got timed out. So now and again, it times you out this uh, this app. So I have to uh, sign out, then sign back in. I like Kent, take okay. care. Try to keep things out of your arse. Takeaway two, what are you what are you fancying for the takeaway then? What kind of gacha machines are those? Eh? Spicy Thai food. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, like a. Uh, oh, they get on. Yeah, oh, they're just the things for the kids. So I think when the kids come into the restaurant, the uh, the waitress or waiter gives them like a coin. Times in America now chill in the morning. So maybe So I upset a few people on um, I upset a few people last night on TikTok because what someone was talking about Koreans 
or Korea. A black guy was talking about Koreans. And I said, Koreans are parasites. Because the Korean have just had the biggest film in the world called Parasite. And uh, no one saw the joke. And the thing is, fucking Koreans hate black people and maybe everyone else. And so this guy, this guy has made another a video and it shows you him this is what what happens if you say konnichiwa to a, a Korean person in Korea. The Koreans this is the rudest place I've ever been to in Korea. They just fucking walk into you. They're right cunts. Happy meal toys, yeah. Yeah, I think they're still giving those. I've got some old ones, actually. I did a takeaway. I did took someone's stuff away, and there were quite a few old uh, McDonald's toys in there. They've been... <laughs> Yeah, it could be, in, well, it was a long, long time since I went. But when we used to go to, so you set off from Nagoya, go to Korea, they take you around all these fucking shops, and then they take you back to the airport. <laughs> then you fly to Hawaii, then you fly back to Korea, and then they fly you back to Japan. But when you, you know, but when you like trying to save money on the flights, that's what you do. But now, so the other day, I, you see it all the time now, people. And so when you warn, they, now they're starting to get, if, you, if someone's walking along, sometimes they're on the bicycle and they're fucking looking at the phone. And uh, they're walking along and if you're like, if you're a bit pissed off with them, they show a bit of fucking attitude. Yeah, I've, I've, I've also flown that airline as well. I went, I was coming back from uh, New Zealand, 36 hour flight, because we stopped at five places, 36 fucking hours. And when I booked the flight, I said to the girl in the office, can we make, make this flight, this time flight from, uh, from Schiphol to Manchester? And she goes, no, it's best to go for the later one. The plane, the plane got in early, so I could have made that flight. So I went to the desk, I says, can I go on this flight because we're really early? And I said, I said to her, because uh, we didn't think we could get here, so we, to be safe, we took this flight. She goes, no, you've got to pay money if you want to go on this flight. I said, well, it's just common sense, this fucking speech seats on the, you know, the spare seats on the plane. The desk, oh, I says, I, she goes, oh, you miss your flight. I said, oh, I can put you on the next one. So I said, well, why the fuck couldn't you do that in the fucking first place? I goes, oh, I feel sorry for you now. The fucking cunt, still fucking angry at that fucking bastard. The fuck, I hate fucking cunts like that. Yeah, it stopped, because the flight, what it did, I think it, it stopped in Australia and then it, it had like about four stops in the Middle East. And then on to uh, then on to skip on. Which which 
I had a 36 hour flight and then when I got to the airport I said I tried we wanted to book this earlier flight but we wasn't sure we we played it safe and then I said can I go on this flight now she goes no you have to pay money so then I missed so when the, my flight came up I was fucking too tired I just fell asleep went to the desk just because all oh, the flight's gone oh but, but I can put you on the next one I said well why couldn't you fucking do that in the first place and she goes oh, I feel sorry for you the fucking bastard You've never been aware of you been in Europe. Yeah, well, if you want to travel, you've got to use it, man. When I was about, I think, well, maybe I was about 28, and I bought a round the world ticket. I think it was 1,100 quid around the world. Okay, so you, are, they, are, they, are they on land? Can you go back? Show me a map of Denmark and Sweden. So you you have a bridge then into Denmark, yeah? Show me the island of Tessel. <laughs> I thought Tessel, we, I went to this island called Tessel, I thought it was fucking Sweden. So I was all that, like I was adding that to the number number of countries I've been to. That's right. <laughs> I've got to take one off my list now. I think I've been to about twenty five countries. But that also includes Scotland and Wales because they're countries. So, in Scotland, Wales, France, Germany, I've also included in that the uh, the country between France and Spain. What do you call that now? There's a little place between. It's a tax-free haven between France and Spain. Andorra. 
So Germany, Austria, Belgium, France. Did I say France? Spain. Yeah, that's me. That was my nickname when I was a baby. But don't forget that was... I've been to France two, a few, uh, two times, three times maybe. We dr I've driven through it on the coach and by car, I think. No, uh, no, this was what... Th those countries weren't on the round the world. When I, I flew to America. And then when I went to America, then it was uh, uh, New Zealand, Australia. So I was planning to spend, I was planning to spend uh, just a few weeks in New Zealand and go to, I spent work in Australia. Well, I think about a year or two ago I was in a, I was, this place I used to go to with the French girl, fucking hell, she, she started speaking in French. And I was just like taken away by this beautiful accent of this beautiful girl, fucking melt, melting my arm. And that's what I did when I went to America, talking to all these checkout girls. You give me wrong fucking money. So when uh, I flew back from Australia to England and uh, that because, because uh, I had, I'd, I'd done an insurance job on my BMW and there was a problem with it. So, so I had to fly back and sort it out. So it had been in this garage for nearly a year, started up first time. I said, yeah, on TikTok there was, there was two Japanese guys fighting on TikTok on the plane, on the train. I don't know what the argument was about, but one guy kicked a guy sitting down, then he kicked him back, then he got hold of him by the throat. <laughs> I couldn't understand what they were saying. I've been, been to Korea a few times. Japan, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia. One one part I liked about going into Malaysia was sleep was sleeping on an overnight train. That was great. I like that. Check out if my bone is getting worse or better.
I can't. I don't understand this here. It says lockdown channel Iwakura Santa 113,000 subscribers. That's news to me. I wish I did. Eh? I don't think I've got 113,000 subscribers. How many have I got? Can you just look at my channel and see if anyone can tell me how many subscribers I've got? Ah, okay, that's why they've gone wrong. They've gone wrong in with the uh, with the Japanese system. So that is 11.3k. They put it down as 113,000. You mean like a lurker? My largest video had uh, five half a million views, but I did have one. It was called a. Uh, not you know scum dog millionaire scum. Is that it? And I. Because my dog was thin, I called it Slim Dog Millionaire, and they wouldn't let me. Uh, it was one of my biggest videos, but they wouldn't let me use it or get money on it, so I took it down. But I was stupid because that was bringing people to the channel, so uh, I really messed up then. I wonder what the weather's like tomorrow. You up with Weather tomorrow, Nagoya. Oh dear. It's going to be raining. It's not good. in that one. Wow, fucking hell, some of those are expensive, 300 yen. Are you happy now? Did you see? <laughs> no, they just, they're all, uh, they are all uh, toys, little models. I saw something on the, I saw something, I thought that was my son then, really tall guy. I saw something on TikTok last night and it was talking about digital images being sold.
it seems a little bit crazy because you you can bid for it and buy it and but you can you can never have it. I've not, I, I just looked at it, 15 seconds. <laughs> I don't know if it's called NFT or something. I, apparently it's, it's digital art, you make the image yourself. So it's something that you've made, then you put it online, maybe at this uh, site, and people can bid on it. Apparently Logan Paul did something and he it was like five thousand dollars or something. I put it on my uh, I put it on my uh, Facebook page to check it out later. Right guys, I'm gonna get off. We're gonna buy those uh, meat pies. So digital artists. Yeah, my wife is an artist. She's quite good. I don't know if she'd be into that though. And I want to, my daughter, my, I think my daughter's got some latent talent as well. Right guys, I'm going to get off and go and get those meat pies and I'll see you next time. Look at Van Gogh, he was the most, not when he was alive. I, I saw a Vincent Van Gogh uh, exhibition in, in Nagoya, it was brilliant. Oh, I'll have to look more into it. I can't draw to save my fucking life, but. Yeah, all right, see you later, guys. So, so good that someone knows a bit about that. Bye bye. Oh.